We're at the headquarters of Campagnolo in Italy today for the 80th anniversary celebrations of this iconic brand. Legends of cycling from throughout the ages were present today, including the greatest of them all, Eddie Merckx. I was riding uh, in the World Championship in 64 uh, with Campagnolo, and then I started from 68 uh, to the end of my career was always uh, Campagnolo. And many took part in a presentation earlier, paying tribute to the master of innovation, Tullio Campagnolo. This formerly guarded company also opened their doors, giving us a great look around their factory floor. Campi being one of the few companies to keep the majority of their production in-house in Italy. Some of the other great icons of cycling were also here to pay their tributes, including Ernesto Colnago. Campagnolo, lui ha sempre, una volta al mese, anche, anche, anche ogni tre settimane andava a Milano e veniva a trovarmi. Ogni, ogni volta che avevo un'idea me, me la dicevo sempre, tu cosa ne pensi, cosa ne fai, tante cose. Io ho sempre collaborato, se viene a casa mia per esempio vede che 1966 ha portato un pedale nuovo, che io ho detto bisogna farlo così, l'ha portato e io gli ho criticato un po', mi ha lasciato dal pedale, c'era ancora in casa, quindi Campagnolo era uno che accettava tutto e però accettava le cose belle, le cose, accettava anche le critiche, purché migliorare. Con Colnau era una grande confidenza, una grande collaborazione, io ero onorato di lavorare con Campagnolo come Attualmente sono ora a lavorare con Valentino adesso. It's not just been about looking backwards though. A lot of talk today was about the future of cycling. Do you think in the future that um, you know, there's the scope to, to, to design uh, a group set around a frame or design a frame around a group set? Sure, this is just one thing that we just discussed with the guy from uh, for Campion. And, uh, we, 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 as me, we uh, try to make it the best frame, the most uh, uh, nice, the most sexual, why not? Something like, uh, why not make the accessories, just be a part of the frame, and altogether to be a part of the, just one bike. Rochelle, uh, thanks for joining us. So how much does it mean that you know, they're investing in women's cycling, which is traditionally a little bit underfunded? Well, it's, it's a really prestigious brand, Campagnolo, so it does a lot for, for our team and for women's cycling that they're behind us and they're supporting us. And uh, our athletes are passionate about using Campagnolo and uh, Campagnolo are developing passion towards women's cycling. So uh, I think it's really a really big step that they're, they're actually really behind us and supporting us. We captured the presentation earlier in full and if you speak Italian, it's a great watch. Questo ciclismo, ciclismo di coppie di Bartali. Brevemente, cosa, un tuo pensiero, un tuo ricordo? È un grande esempio per i giovani. We'd better get back to the Giro d'Italia now to see if another Campagnolo Equip Pro wins today's stage. But in the meantime, we'll leave you with this message from Eddie Merckx to the current crop of professional cyclists. And the, the gear ratios you used, obviously, they've changed significantly now with, you know, modern racers are on compact chain sets, you know, in the Dolomites and things. Is that something that you wish you'd had at the time or, or do you look at them now and just think, you know, why not use a 42? No, no, yes, but uh, when I was a cyclist I didn't need a compact 